Hello and welcome to Farm Space. We are here at XAG. I'm speaking to Laurent. He's going to take me through the P100 Pro. Uh, have you ever seen a drone in your life? Check this out. This is not only a drone. This is that tractor that's flying. Laurent, how are you? Yeah, fine. <laughs> and you? I'm glad to hear. No, awesome. I mean, um, I'm in a... Uh, awesome place here with all these drones and everything. Um, so, so they say almost like a kid in a candy shop, eh? <laughs> okay, so um, XAG, you guys have got the P100 Pro here. Explain to me a little bit more um, about this drone. I know it's been going um, for, I think, what, two years now that it's been in, in the market. First of all, what has been the feedback of your customers on this specific drone? Well, so the P100 Pro, people call it the beast because it's the best. Until now, it's still the best drone we ever had. You can look at how robust it can be, I mean, compared to other brands. And um, not to mention, the biggest improvement of P100 Pro is it has its uh, foldable arms, yeah. which can fit your any kind of, fit in any kind of van or something. You can easily transport it. So, you see, you just simply, I open just it. open that clamp, yeah? Yeah. And, ah, done. So it's uh, that easy. <clears throat> and, and I'm also guessing uh, that, that this is also a point where if you should crash it or something, it will just break there and you just need to replace this one component. It's right. not like the old drone so break. You see, all, XCG drones are modular design. So, you know, drone could crash some time, but it's very easy. You just pick it up and repair it. So it's modular designed, easy to repair, and easy for maintenance. So, but let's fold this thing open that I can great, great. see it properly quickly. Yeah. You see, we've, we've still got a foldable drone, and this is one-handed, eh? Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Sometimes, now you still need to make sure, clap it. Ha. Ah, okay, now I see how this works. You need to make it... Yeah, you just push it to the limit and then... And then it goes in. Yeah. Okay, so I can't do it one-handed, but I tried. <laughs> okay. Push it to its limit. Done. Right. So, um, okay, so now we've got uh, drone folded up. So the, the, the kit that you've got on the back here, before we get to the rotors and that, you've basically got the fertilizer spreader on the back here, am I correct? Yes, this one is the spreader. As you can see, it's vertical. Yeah. It's a sp vertical spreading, a spreading disc. Why, why is it vertical? Why don't you do like the, the little uh, horizontal disc spreader? Yes, uh, so since uh, we changed to, from horizontal uh, disc to a vertical one, because this could provide a more penetration to yeah. the ground. To the ground. Oh. So when you do seeding and fertilizing, you can push. Uh, it has a more penetration power to the ground uh, for the granule. Yes. And I'm guessing also because of that, it's also less sensitive to the wind blowing from yes, the side. Yes. You can. Res you, they, they has more wind resistance yeah. and also. It can spread more evenly. Make, makes a lot of sense. And um, okay, and then when we get to the spraying you part can take of things, look at inside of the tank. Yeah. So there's this, there's this oh, there's screw thing. feeder inside. Yeah. So you can change the size of the screw feeder for different size of granule. So th I think this one is a medium size. So if you're going to spread the uh, tree seeds something larger you want to change it to a large size of screw feeder and it will fit makes a lot of sense i mean and that even makes that you can even do these uh, um, organic pellets and those types of things you can always then right. also spread with this yes and then if i want to take this um, off and i want to do the the spraying with the drone um, do i just basically take off that bottom part yes you see you just remove the buckle here you lift the drone it yeah. and replace it to a spraying tank, which is not here, but it's very easy to do it. You can do it by your own. And then the same buckle, you put it on and it's done. The same buckle yes. on, done. Okay, and then we get to the, um, what I want to say um, before we get to those fancy nozzles of yours. 
Um, so basically, the heart of the machine, okay? So the motors that you've, uh, uh, that you've got on here. Um, uh, uh, just in terms of robustness and so forth, because I mean, these things go at a million miles an hour. Um, what has been your, your feedback in terms of how reliable are these things? How reliable is this thing? So let me tell you first. <clears throat> so with each model, which motors, it has uh, 50 kilograms of the maximum output. Yeah. So with four of these, it's 200 kilograms in total. Which so it should lift me, theoretically. Right. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> but you know, we just need to lift the 50 kilograms there, yeah. which provides uh, enough power redundancy, which can increase the lifespan of the motors, right? If you push it to the limits every time, yeah, it will shorten its lifespan. But now we provide like almost 100% more power redundancy, which really increased the lifespan of the motors. So. I mean, at least you could use it for one year without any problems. And after one year, you do some maintenance, clear the dust, you make a proper maintenance to the motor, you can keep using it. And then it, and then it goes. So from your first drones that are running, okay? Yes. Um, as I gather this, I mean, I see the, well, the company has been going since 2007. But as I gather, uh, um, there's, there's drones that seven or eight years old that's still running with the, with the right. same motors. <laughs> the oldest drone running is our P20, our yeah. first commercialized drone. They're still running on the market. And what you need to do is replace the parts. So that's all. I mean, that's a significant difference uh, from drones to other yeah. uh, agriculture machine. You see, uh, all the parts are modularly designed. You just replace the one you need to replace. You don't need to change. Uh, you need to, uh, to, to, to add uh, some uh, engine oil and uh, yeah. right. You just replace the motor. Just replace <laughs> the motor if there's there's an issue. And why? <coughs> what is this? Why does it do that? Uh, this is uh, it, it is it is a design from helicopter. Yeah. So helicopter uses the same design to reduce the shake. Let's say oh. the shakeness of, uh, of the. So it's to make the, the, the shake or the vibration less yes. on, the, on the motors and yeah. on the old drone itself. You know, when the drone is lifting, it creates a lot of um, shaking yeah. and this will damage the component. You see, all these things, we have, even, we have a computer inside and, um, you know, when it comes to electric components... Yeah, they don't like vibration the whole time. Yes. So we reduce the vibration of the impact to the drone, and this could definitely increase the lifespan of the drone. So after we have this design on our drone, compares to our last model P100. You know, yeah. P100 is a design without this uh, flapping propulsion system. On P100 Pro, the lifespan increased like 40% more of the whole of the whole, whole drone. That makes a lot of sense. So, okay, and then. Just tell me a little bit more about your spraying system, okay? Because I know that you pioneered this um, whole rotary spraying system. How does this work? Yes. So let's take a closer look. We remove the lock, remove the lock, lock here and open it. And then we lock it tight. Now it's open. And now it's open. You see, there's a pump here and yeah. a spraying disc here. We've been using this rotary nozzle from the first drone we have. I think this is the key technology that makes the agriculture drone so special. Uh, so with this kind of nozzle, this, this rotary nozzle, centrifugal nozzle, it can make the droplet size uh, down to 50 micrometers. And that could save a lot of work because after you use this kind of nozzle, you could uh, use the concentrate spraying. Yeah. which saves 90% of the water compared to the uh, conventional spray. And, 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 uh, and you can change it on the fly, am I correct? You literally just change the setting yes. on the remote yeah. and then it you changes can, the... You can change your parameter settings on your phone yeah. and from 50 micrometers to 400 micrometers for different kinds of scenario and uh, the chemical you want to apply. That's interesting. And um, okay, so then, okay, now that that thing works, but... Let me continue something. So if you want to spray with something, 
you want to have a better penetration, yeah. you just make it smaller, make the dropper size smaller. And if you want to have, um, let's say, uh, you want to spray more precise, yeah. you want them to stay where they are and not to have too much of a, let's say, drifting, you make, it, make the dropper size bigger. So then you basically uh, um, yeah, just hit the target uh, uh, yes. more directly. Yes. And what type of uh, um, stuff can I then spray with the, with the drones? Because I mean, um, I know some, uh, some of the fruit fly guys, for example, they spray this thing that's, uh, but it's a little bit thicker, like molasses and that type of things. Can you spray this with this drone? That, I mean, definitely yes, because this is the best nozzle. I mean, compared yeah. to other, one of the, the um, thing is, it could spread the spraying most of the things. I mean, no matter it's thick or what, because it will not jam. Because by uh, the, the peristaltic pump we're using. So it's a peristaltic pump? Yes. Okay. This peristaltic pump, there's a two, uh, let's say we have a two advantages. The most, uh, at, let's say the most significant advantage is one is. It's very precise. So, so if you're going to set a, a certain amount of dosage, it will just precisely squeeze this amount you want to have. Yeah. Uh, because peristaltic pump was used in the, in hospital surgery yeah. in the beginning, and we integrated it into drone spraying, and now we have, let's say, the most precise. Oh, oh yeah, it's those things setting. that they used to to pump the blood. Yes. Yes. First, how to pump is it's for oh, blo yes, pumping it, blood. If it can pump blood, then I'm, yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure we should be we should be fine. Because I'm I've heard the one guy actually using it to spray, so he's just like putting in paint and actually spraying paint with it. Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So you see, now they're using it to spray uh, to to ch do the greenhouse shading, uh, just for spraying all kind of chemicals. Yeah. There's nothing you can you can't you can cannot spray with it. And if we, we get to the, 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 the front end here, okay? okay. So, what, what is this round box here at the front? Huh, this is the uh, radar. Yeah. So, with a radar, you can basically do a lot of things. So first, it's the obstacle avoidance. Although, I need to tell you, you, you need to always mark the obstacle in advance, but sometimes, it, you know, some weird things can happen. And this radar, after you turn on the obstacle avoidance, function you can like uh, when you <laughs> run into a wall or something yes. yeah but but I mean it's now not gonna see a power line for example but I mean it will see a tree or something like that uh, yes even for power lines sometimes you can detect it but power line you know uh, if it's uh, how to say it's if it's Power line is this. Yeah. That will be the hardest case for the uh, radar. Okay. But if it's uh, vertical or horizontal, it's easy for the. the uh, for so it's just if it's like that 45 degree thing. Yeah, 45 then. degree, that will be the hardest thing for the radar. But for other cases, you can simply use the obstacle avoidance. It will be safe. But yeah, just to mark it, if you know. It, that's that's, that's the better idea. idea. And then I also see that this one now is a camera, which from your previous drones didn't have. Yes, um, the FP camera, you know, it's a, <coughs> it's a fashion. You know, some of the, some of the uh, pilots want their clients to, or want to see how, and want to use, uh, to use it to monitoring the, the field. So you could, I mean, anytime you turn on your FPV camera, and then you could use it to monitoring your field. And, and, and so I can get those high-resolution high images, I can get it back draw up a field of that thing after I've sprayed and so forth. Yes. That is awesome. Okay, and then the power has to come from somewhere. Hey, tell me a little bit about the, the batteries that you've got on here and how does this system work? So, um, now the battery is a very important part of the drone. And you can see, it's a, one of the best thing about the XAG battery is that you could charge it in water. Yeah. Just simply place it into a water tank, and you can charge it. Because water is uh, water have the, uh, let's say, a higher um, efficiency in cooling yeah. down. So when you yeah, it's just about the, the uh, dissipating heat at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Getting and getting rid of the heat. Yeah, because after you use a drone, the temperature is so high, you can't charge. Basically, you can't charge the yeah. you know, very high temperature. But you have to wait for it to cool down. Yes, but with Exergy battery, you could put it into the water tank and just need you to find any water source. But but isn't this thing uh, um, water and electricity doesn't mix? How does that work? Well, that's the, uh, that's uh, that's the, I mean the key thing with the Exergy business. So it's waterproof. Yeah. Yeah, you just put, place it into water. So you just place it into the water, charge it, and then. And then you're sorted. Yes. That's that's interesting. And then lastly, okay. So, what is the maximum speed at which this drone can fly and still effectively spray? The maximum speed would just increase. Yeah. So now it's 18 meters per second. 18 meters per second, but that's with the with the, what the performance blades are. Right? Yes. Yeah. No. 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 Just we just simply remove the cap because. Uh, the, you, it usually has a, key, a cap of uh, 13.8 yeah. meters per second, but that's because the Chinese regulation. Yes. It doesn't allow us to, ex, uh, to move oh. higher than that. So we're getting this fast drone now. Yes, because yeah. now we remove the cap for the international market. Well, if your region, you don't have any restriction on your flying limits, you can go as high as 18 meters per but second. But does it still spray effectively? Right. Well, if you're spraying some uh, chemicals like maybe fungicide yeah. with the low dosage spraying, this could definitely help you increase your efficiency. That's, that's really interesting. Laurent, thank you very much. And um, yeah, this, is, this has been an eye opener for me. I really um, like the way that you guys do these things and actually yeah, just well done on this technology. Right, so that is Lawrence here from XAG. Okay, if you are interested, click the link below on top, depending on where you're watching this, and I'll get in contact with you, sort you out with a drone. That's it from Farm Space. Till next time.